Hello! Today, I'm going to a place called Bukit Brown. This is a very challenging solo stroll for me to take some snapshots in the middle of nowhere. I've never been there so this is the best time to explore these uncrowded places. It is so exhilarating as you walk along this pathway. The greeneries are refreshing with all these flowering plants on both sides. It's a gloomy day, hopefully it won't rain. Such a very quiet setting here. Few cars passing and I don't see anyone around. Flowers! Purple flowers! I don't know what kind of flowers are these. Mga plantitos at plantitos dyan, makaalam ninyo. Flowers again, yellow flowers. This path is a long, lonely road. On my right side, across the road, is the central catchment of Singapore. There are few numbers of residential houses on my left. Majority of these landed properties are two stories and few three stories. And these property owners are rich people. Hey, this guy in front of me is also going to where I'm heading. I saw him holding a map, exploring the same vicinity, so I just have to follow his direction. Okay, Kim Hop Road to the left. I think he's crossing the bridge. This is a very long overhead by the strong bridge across the new Lorne Highway. Then, that's the crossing that I'm looking for. To the left is Lorong Halwa, leading to the Bukit Brown Cemetery. Yes. I'm going inside an abandoned cemetery. This is a closed cemetery, so keep a watchful eyes on your surroundings. I am now at the first division of the cemetery. The Bukit Brown Cemetery was established to serve the burial needs of the Chinese community. Officially opened on the first day of January in the year 1922, it operated for more than half a century and abandoned since its closure in 1973. Okay, let's move on and take some photos and videos. I'll try not to talk too much now. This place is quiet and I don't want to disturb the environment. Just, uh, just a little respect.
Brown Cemetery has an estimated of 100,000 tombs. About 5,000 tombs were affected on the newly constructed Lorne Highway. As I said, always keep an eye on your surroundings when you come here, especially above your head. Some trunks may just drop and bugs from bushes on your left and right. Be watchful on your steps too. Snakes are very common. Whatever is that, I won't disturb you. Come on, let's go. Look, look at these vines, matured vines. They are falling off to the ground, dropping from the tree canopy, and it's so beautiful. Look at that. Excuse me, may I pass? Thank you. This path is leading to the largest tomb belonged to Ong Sam Leung, who was born in 1857 and died in 1918. That is a path leading to another division. Here comes the rain. This cemetery are covered with last vegetation. All over the surroundings is so green. Mga mahilig sa halaman dyan. Halina kayo at magsibunot. Para may itanim. Ayan no, maganda ilagay sa paso niya. Alright, 
I'm not sure where I'm heading to. Looks like there is no ending. So never mind, I just keep walking. Okay, stop for a while here. I need to check my location. Hey Siri, please show my location in the map. Here is the map. Thank you. Oh, please hang on there. Should I go that way or this way? Sometimes, maps are not helpful in places like this. So I need to take a quick look on my locations from the top. Top. There you go. Seems like I'm making a loop. Did I pass this way just now? This is what I'm saying. Trees may just fall down, so what's up on your way? Tombs are everywhere. These are centuries old and it's amazing that it still exists as a monument of historical events. I'm not quite sure if this is a path leading outside the cemetery but I will try. Oh no, this is another division of the cemetery. Hey, hey, what is that? Excuse me. Hey, lady. She can't hear me. Maybe she's listening to music over her earphone. Oops. Mud, mud, oh my shoes. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. My name is Greg Cinco for Interactive. Please like, share, and consider subscribing to this channel and get notified when I post a new one. Salamat po. Alam.